In this demonstration, we're going to look at implementing a central access policy. Now, these aren't mandatory for dynamic access control. However, just to ensure that we do have access control on all file servers consistently matched, what we should do is implement at least one central access policy. And then by doing so, what we do is we enable that all file servers within a specific scope can use central access policy when protecting content and shared folders. So what we need to do to start with is we just need to come into our dynamic access control utility, come to our central access policies, and then what we need to do is just create a new central access policy. That then brings us into a wizard. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just fill out our little table. And we're going to call this one protect confidential docs. Then we we'll select our add. So for our member central access rules. And then what we'll do here is we're going to add our access confidential docs. And select OK. And select OK again. And now what we'll do is we'll create another central access policy. And again, brings us in the same table, so we'll just fill this one out as well. And we're going to call this one Department Match. Select Add for our Member Central Access rules here, and we'll just go with our Department Match. And we'll select OK. And select OK again. So now what we've done is we've created two Central Access policies. So the next thing we need to do here is we just actually need to apply these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this via Group Policy. So up at the top here, we'll just close down dynamic access control utility and what we'll open up instead is we'll just open up group policy management so what I've got here in my group policy management I actually have a organizational unit called DAC protected and what I've got inside this organizational unit is I have my lawn serve one machine so what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to create a new group policy in this domain and link it here. What we're going to do here is we're just going to call this group policy DAC hyphen protected. So I'll select OK. And then what we'll do at this point here is we'll then just come in and we will just edit our group policy. And what we want to do here is we just want to come into computer configuration. And then within computer configuration, we're just going to go to policies. Below policies, we're going to go to Windows settings. Below Windows settings, we're then going to go to security settings. And then below security settings, the next one we're looking for here is we're just looking for file system. And then we've got our central access policy. And what we want to do at this point here is we just want to manage our central access policies. And what we'll do is we'll just add them both in. So now we've done that, we'll just select OK. We'll just come out with our Group Policy Management Editor. And out the Group Policy Object as well. Next thing we'll do here is we'll just refresh the Group Policy on our file server. So we'll swap over to our file server. And on our file server, we'll just come into PowerShell. And all we're going to do from here is we're just going to do a GP update forward slash force. So let's update now our policy. So we've now made those policies available at our service. The next thing to do here is just come into Windows Explorer. Within Windows Explorer, we'll go to C Drive. We'll go to our Docs folder and have a look at the properties. So on the properties here, if we just look at the Security tab, and then come down to Advanced, and then click on our Central Policy, click our Change button, and click on our little drop-down. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to go for protect confidential docs and we'll just select OK at this point here and on our research department what we'll do is we'll specify the department match so on research we'll just right click come to our properties click on our security then what we'll do here is come down to advanced and then what we'll do here is we'll just go for our central policy click our change button and what we'll do here is we'll specify that as department match. And then we'll select OK. Select OK again. And now what we've done is we've created our central access policy. We've now applied that policy to our file server. If we had have had multiple file servers in that organizational unit, we could have then pushed that policy out to multiple file servers and then associate each directory with a matching policy. That's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.